Traders, today is Thursday, March 17th, 2011. Happy St. Patty's Day to those who celebrate. Um, what you're looking at right now is a chart of the Dow Jones Transportation Average. Let me pull it down so that the whole thing's in focus for you. The Dow Jones Transportation Average deemed the leader of U.S. indices. Traders, I have been showing you this chart now for about five days. When it first started to build, I basically showed you a chart, and here is what it looked like, which is what's really making this interesting. When we got onto this, we were right here. This day didn't exist yet. And we looked at this and said, oh my goodness, that's not a bull or a bear flag at this point. I believe we have a pennant brewing. And I started to do the videos and I said, here's what should happen next. What should happen next is, and because I've done this in countless times where I found a pennant formation like you see here, this red laying down pyramid, if you will, um, this triangle is called a pennant. What I have found works really well in pennants as you break them down into four equal quadrants. And what you should expect is some kind of a breakout in a false area, or I should say a false breakout in about the 65% area. Usually you'll get that. And then what should happen next is you rally back up. And if that was the false breakout by the 75% area, you should be out of the pennant and off to the races. So that is what I contended should happen now that I have figured out what this pattern is. And if you recall, there was some question as to whether we had a bull flag or a bear flag building here. Unequivocally, you would call it a bear flag at first glance. And if I just remove some of these bars of what I expect to happen, and we draw in now what did happen, there was an absolute 65% false breakout. Look where we are two days later. We came down and put in that 65% false breakout. We stayed down for two days, rallied back, and we are sitting here right now. We rallied all the way to here. What should happen next is this. Now, if you recall, I told you before any of these bars existed, what should happen next is this and this. And we got that. And then I said, what should happen next is the rally out or get back into the pennant and tomorrow should be the rally out. So if you didn't believe me the first two days, it's time to start believing in me now or not in me because I don't do this. It is the formation before your eyes, the pennant formation. So we've had our false breakout and we've gotten back into the pennant. And lo and behold, if you do not think fundamentals come out in the charts first, good news out of Japan for the first day happens to be today. First day, they say they got some power to the plant and they may be able to pump some water and that the radiation is now starting to back off. Was that the fundamental that was coming out in the chart? Well, possibly because we know fundamentals come out in the charts first. But remember traders, what's really exciting is in technical analysis, if you are not certain whether or not technical analysis is the roadmap to the future, if you have a formation like this and you can literally draw in some lines and tell people, here's what should happen next. And then after that, you should get a rally back into it. And the next day should be a rally out of it in the proper direction. If you can do that on a Friday and then put the days in, you're some sort of a clairvoyant, if you ask me. Now, we're not clairvoyants. We don't believe in anything other than technical analysis works well. That was telegraphed to us traders, and I tried to do my best to telegraph it to you in three or four videos now in a row. And here it is. It's happening right before our eyes. What we should have expected, the 65% false breakout did happen. And so far, we're back into the pennant. And what we should see on Friday is a rally out and a breakout. If that is what takes place, traders, I hope you never again forget that when you see a pennant, do not panic. Do not think the end of the world is coming. Wait and see if there's a 65% false breakout. And if there is, follow the trade and get yourself long once you get back above the pennant. Here will be a fantastic trade. If we get above this spot right here, 
This will be a phenomenal long for the next five, six, seven, ten days. Who knows how long it'll last? Maybe one day, but it will certainly give you a very strong signal. Now, again, maybe you, some of you out there wrote some letters to me thinking that this is voodoo. In fact, someone wrote to me and said, Oscar, we feel that this is just a self-fulfilling prophecy. You're just drawing these lines because you hope that happens. But I have shown you example after example. In fact, two videos ago, I showed you an example right in the S&P chart. And it worked. I've shown examples at Omnicant live to traders right before their eyes. We've broken this down and watched it work. I know absolutely unequivocally this does work. What I cannot tell you is what the news will be, how long that will last. Well, within a few days, I can tell you that. But I cannot tell you if the formation will actually do its job. That's the one fault, the one fault that technical analysis has. In other words, we can draw a formation. We can wrap some lines around the formation and see it existing. But will that formation actually give you the breakdown or breakup that you're looking for? That is a different story. For that, you need to look at all the other charts in that sector. Look at the FTSE, look at the DAX, look at the transportation average, look at the industrial average, you look at the S&P, you will look at the Russell 2000, you will look at as many charts as you can before you decide if you are seeing something correctly. But I want you to recognize that this technique has absolutely worked. It did everything that we would have expected to do thus far. And all we need now is the rally here tomorrow to make this technique complete. But remember, what was interesting is that we had four days notice that this was coming and that it should likely happen. It started right here. We had four days notice once we came down. One, two, three, Friday is fourth. You should be able to catch this trade. Now, this is not a constant, by the way. This four day notice is not constant because depending upon the size of your pennant depends upon how long it takes to get to that 75% mark. So if you have a much hard pennant, then of course it will take more days to get out of the 65% area and end up up here. So keep your fingers crossed that we are saved, that the technical analysis is showing us what's going to happen next. Rest assured that analysis almost always tells you what's coming out next. Traders, if we can get above this spot right here, the 65% false breakout rule will have worked and will have given you a fantastic buy opportunity. I wanted you to see this. I want to make sure you are ready for it. Thank you so much for coming to this mini class that we held today at the Omni Trading Academy. Because depending upon the size, it depends upon how long it takes to get to that 75% mark. So if you have a much hard tenant, then of course it will take more days to get out of the 65% area and end up up here. So keep your fingers crossed that we are saved, that the technical analysis is showing us what's going to happen next.